Hey, what's up guys? Pile Down Reviews here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a product that pertains to one of my favorite hobbies, and that is biking. Now, I've been biking for a few years now, and as you bikers in the crowd may know, uh, while it is tempting, wearing headphones and earbuds while you're uh, on a bike ride can be dangerous, and also in many other states, it's even illegal. So what one company called Audible Rust did is they developed a product that can be placed on the stem of your bike that can encase your music player and play your music out loud. Audible Rust offers several bicycle speaker models that you can choose from, some ranging to an upwards of $200, but the one we're going to be taking a look at today is the Jam Light Essential, which is $45 on their website and can also be found on Amazon. Besides the box that it ships in, the Jam Light Essential does not come in any real packaging, but it does feel really nice and has some hard canvassy material up front here, which feels like it would protect it from a drop. And it also has canvassy material protecting the zipper as well. Included in the package the Jam Light Essential ships with is some uh, manuals that describe how to use the product, as well as safety instructions, and also a warranty information card uh, describing the 90 day warranty that the speakers do come with. And then there's also a quick release mount for you to put on the stem of your bike to allow you to quickly and easily put on the speakers and take them off. Up front here you have two speakers for stereo sound and if I had to guess based on their sound volume and size I'd say that they're probably about two watts each giving this device a total output of four watts or so but I'm not entirely clear on that. And also up front here you have a three volt amp underneath uh, which allows you to control the volume of the speakers while you're biking. Now the company says that the device is not waterproof, but my guess is, just based on the feel, that it could withstand some moisture. Probably if you got caught in a drizzle or something, you'd be fine, but you can just stick it in your jacket pocket since it's small enough. Taking a look inside here, there's a battery information card as well as a warranty information card on the back, where if you register the product within 30 days, Audible Rush will extend the warranty from 90 days to a full 12 months, which is pretty cool. And also there's a foam backing right here, which will help protect your iPod or phone once you plug it in with this 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And I did try to plug in my Droid DNA uh, and close the speaker, but it would not fit even without the case on. But it did fit my Samsung Galaxy, Blaze, and also my iPod. That being said, it does fit most phones. And right here, you, once you, after you plug it in, you can turn the speakers on. You'll see a red light on the front here turn on as well. And inside, the speakers do not use a rechargeable battery. They actually use two AA batteries. You can buy rechargeables for about 5 or $6, though. To attach the speaker to the stem of your bike, you get five pieces. You get two pieces that uh, attach to the stem directly, and then you get a friction pad to make sure the pieces don't uh, wiggle around, and then you also get a screw to tighten the clamp onto the stem, as well as an Allen wrench to do that. And so it's really easy. All you gotta do is insert this through the piece here, put it on your bike, make that go around. tighten that and then you can also put the friction pad under that so it doesn't slip around but I'm not going to do that for simplicity's sake and then you can also uh, put the screw underneath here and tighten it uh, to make sure it does not fall off I'm not going to do that as well but it's really easy and then also to get the speaker on you just slide it into place and then you're done I did test these speakers while riding my bike and they worked fine and were plenty loud, uh, but for simplicity's sake I am going to play a piece of a track for you guys right here to give you a general idea of how they sound. And I'm going to start the track at about 60% volume and then I'm going to work my way up to about 100% volume. Revelation comes from I can't deny it Oh, I don't in my testing of the Jam Light Essential in terms of sound performance, I found the speakers to be about as loud as a standalone 3 watt speaker. It's about the volume of someone almost shouting. Um, that being said though, there was no distortion even at maximum volume regardless of how much bass or uh, how many instruments were in the track that I tested. So that was pretty impressive. In terms of sound quality, it's pretty acceptable. Uh, all the songs that I tested, uh, the instruments and vocals sounded and came out pretty clear. The speakers do sound relatively flat overall and lack a lot of depth, but that is a given given the slim profile of the device. In summary, the Gem Light Essential by Audible Rush is a bike speaker that's lightweight, easy to install, and will play music uh, loud enough for almost any biking expedition, and I highly recommend it for anyone who's looking for an affordable, entry-level bike speaker and who doesn't mind uh, messing with batteries every now and then or buying rechargeables. 
So that's it for my review. Thank you guys for checking it out. As always, if you got any questions, you can inbox me or comment in the comment box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next review.